Hey guys, Troy again here with another pen mail day. Uh, but I wanted to talk about a couple of things dealing with pen mail. Uh, some interesting things I've run across. Uh, there was somebody who was selling um, a collection of Waterman pens. And uh, one of them was a Waterman Phileas, and the others look something like um, Waterman's from the 1990s, maybe. Um, not really sure exactly what models, because sometimes they're hard to tell just from a picture. Uh, but um, saw that there were a couple of ones from possibly like the 1990s. Um, all three together. And starting bid was at $15. I got in on the bidding. The bidding got up to about $45. So then I found this aggregation uh, website that... Um, uh, pulled in all of these um, uh, bids and all these auctions and all these for sale for Waterman pens from across um, from across the fruited plain, no, from across the web. And it wasn't just um, on eBay, by the way. So pull it up, and as I'm going through, I found the seller was also selling on this other service. Uh, and I thought that was kind of interesting. So went ahead and made the purchase, even though I was a leading bidder, because I just wanted to see what would happen. The bidding was up to like $45. And she was selling on this other site for 15 Okay, for like a Phileas and a, possibly a Laureate and maybe some others, or one other. Okay, fine. Um, let's go ahead and make the purchase. So I did for 15 bucks. Well, that website also communicates with eBay listings and instantly I get an email once I made the purchase that my uh, my bid was canceled and uh, so I got it took my payment and went ahead and processed the payment uh, and went ahead and gave me the confirmation that I had made the purchase the next day I get um, a refund from the seller and the seller says well I'm kinda new to this other website I think bonanza.com um, I'm, I'm new to that website and you know bidding on eBay was up over forty dollars so I'm canceling the sale and refunding your money <laughs> then turned right around and relisted uh, the pens for sale so I got in on the bidding yet again uh, and I was a leading bidder for quite a while because I knew you know at, at 45 bucks it was a decent deal if you can get um, a Waterman Phileas and a couple others for you know 45 50 bucks good deal it was even better at 15 the fact is I purchased legitimately at 15 so after a while I just let it go and I think it got over 60 to 70 dollars um, uh, almost 70 bucks I think by the time the the uh, bidding closed and yeah, I didn't get it but I'm a little annoyed that uh, this particular seller would use more than one venue would have a selling price not a bidding price a selling price of fifteen dollars it can legitimately cancels the sale like it should or that cancels the bids on ebay and then tur she turns around and cancels my sale refunds my money uh... and then goes back because i can get more on ebay well that's not exactly you know, le legitimately uh... ethical as far as i was concerned so i lost out on that one now speaking of uh... not getting something there is uh, one seller I've purchased from before, and I've had to, you know, prod and cajole a little bit in order to get what I had ordered. And it's been several weeks now. now I'm not going to mention any names, but I will say that uh, they're the co-author of a book that I've shown you <laughs> numerous times on this YouTube channel. So I ordered a Waterman pen through this individual, and uh, after two plus two to three weeks not so much as a ship notification the pen hadn't shown up um, this person is really horrible about communications so I'm gonna have to pester an email and say hey look <laughs> where's my pen I haven't seen any shipment notifications either send me my stuff or just refund my money um, this is twice in a row that I've had this kind of dealings with this individual, so I'm kind of surprised they're even still in business or their website even is even still up. That's annoying to me. <sighs> All right. Uh, let's see. A couple other things. Um, I told you guys that I'm, I, I'm planning on doing another video, and I'm going to do it on pen cleaning, and I really got to do it sometime soon. See this box? You know, it's, it's full 
full of pens that I need to clean. I mean, uh, low end, high end, Matthews, mine. Most of them are Matthews, but a bunch of them are mine too. And I've got some from my wife as well. But uh, I've got to go through all of these and clean them. So I plan on doing a, a video on cleaning. And I know some of you, uh, you guys have asked for that. So I'll try to get that done here in a little while. All right, pen mill day uh, yesterday was for this. It's a Waterman CF. Now, the seller on eBay, whom I've purchased from before, who, uh, who ha tends to get antique pens and turn around and sell them on eBay, and usually they're, they're redone and reworked. This one, it was not. I was a little bit surprised that it still, I had to give it a good cleaning from this particular individual out of Virginia. Uh, but... Um, it's a Waterman CF. Not that I don't have any. As a matter of fact, <laughs> uh, yeah, I've got Waterman CF, CCs, um, nice CF. That's my favorite CF. This one still has to be cleaned, though, because I ran out of ink. Um, so here's some more here. And I'm actually missing one, uh, which is a you know, nice black and gold. And then, matter of fact, the barrel for which was a part that I had ordered from the individual I mentioned previously that I had to pester to get it. Uh, but I think maybe I misplaced it because I cleaned it, and I may have put it in with Matthew's collection rather than uh, back into my collection because he has a CF that's very similar to it. Uh, so anyway, but this is a uh, this is a green. It's a lower end CF. He had it listed as a CC. I don't believe it was a CC because of how it looks. You know, it's got the slip cap, and it's got that kind of barrel and nib, and that is more like I'm used to seeing for CFs than I am for CCs. As a matter of fact, I've got a picture of uh, CFs next to a CC. Uh, to give you an example, um, this is a Waterman CC. You can tell a little different in that style, but CCs were were aimed at um, were aimed at uh, students. They were not to meant meant to be an upper end or necessarily an adult market pen, lower end pens. But you notice that it's got a nice flat metal bottom to that barrel which I find also in like this one here and this is one of the nicer ones um, you know mid to upper uh, on this one so with a gold nib on it one of the things about the uh, CF I'm going to pull apart the CC because it comes with the same kind of a cartridge see I've, I've got to clean that out that CC but it comes with one of the first cartridges that Waterman uh, started marketing that was in plastic from the 1950s. So I got to clean that sucker out, this, um, this CC, which actually wrote fairly well. I was really surprised. And this particular pen here, for six or seven dollars, actually did fairly well. So I was uh, pleasantly surprised with it and just added it to my collection. Matter of fact, for my 1,000 subscriber giveaway, I gave away one of these, actually in the same color even. So that's one of the reasons I went ahead and bought this one. So uh, let's take a look to see how this one uh, actually writes because it's actually uh, did fairly well. I was pleasantly surprised with it after I cleaned it up, flushed it out, and uh, flushed out the cartridge and put in some ink. Be honest with you, I don't, I don't really know why I like the Waterman CF, but I kind of do. Um, probably because they're a lot older than I am. <laughs> 1950s is when uh, these were popular. And... If you got one, if you get one that's a decent writer, it'll be stable, it will be reliable, um, and they're easy to refill, easy to use. Of course, they don't sell those cartridges anymore, so you can find them, but they don't make them modern. So you can still find some old stock of them, but you're going to have to probably uh, puncture them, flush them out, uh, and put in whatever ink you want, like I did to this one here. So here we go with a 1950s. Waterman. I'm going to call this a CF, not a CC, because it, it looks every bit 
like the Waterman CFs I've got rather than a CC. So if it's actually a CC and you know the difference, go ahead and feel free to correct me. Um, but I, I mean, this is shaped, it's nibbed like the inlaid nib like I'm used to seeing, uh, like on all my other CFs. And like I said, I've, I probably got a half a dozen of them. So I'm just kind of very used to them. So, you know, this is not a high-end pen, but this one has a steel nib. It's actually fairly smooth. And, um, you know, it's a nothing special nib. You're not going to get any great line variation out of it. What you are going to get, though, is reliability. Ever since I inked this sucker up, every time I picked it up and went to write with it, it's done perfect first time every time. Now this particular ink um, that I put into this thing right here I kinda like and um, it's a Robert Oster uh, and this one is his emerald. I kinda you know I'm one of those I do try to match the color of the pen with the ink just because I got a plethora of inks and a plethora of color of pens so, but if you're looking for even reliable and reverse writing pen, okay, that works. I don't know why anybody would want to do that. I mean, I don't like writing in reverse. It's scratchy as heck, but you get a nice fine line out of it. But, it, like I said, it's been reliable first time every time I've uh, picked it up. And every time I've gone to write with it, It's actually written fairly well. It lays down a decent amount of ink. It's fairly comfortable in the hand. It's lightweight. So I just enjoy picking these up, especially when you can find them They're, uh, fairly inexpensively. I, like I said, I paid like $6 for this. I mean, you can't beat that deal. Come on, six bucks? Um, I mean, you can pick that up all day long. <laughs> and it, it'll be reliable. It'll be a decent writer. It'll be something to add to your collection, even if you get a bunch of them like I've already got. So. Anyway, uh, just something for your consideration on pen mail, showing it off here today. And the only reason I'm showing stuff like this is to give you ideas for your collection and uh, possibly uh, share a little bit of uh, information. So, um, you know, and then you know, I guess I'm kind of a pen hoarder. <laughs> but this is my hobby, and I started this channel to uh, be able to share with people and to help them learn and to see uh, ideas to add to their own collection and to learn about something they may not already know about. But I'm, I'm liking it. I mean, inexpensive, smooth, reliable. That's what I like.